hello guys in today's tutorial i'll be taking you guys through the process on how i was able to achieve the post the church design you saw on the thumbnail so let's get right into it first and foremost i created an adjustment layer to create an adjustment layer you come down to the um, bottom side of um, your layer panel right here click on it once and then you go to sol solid color you paste in the color code just like that the color code is 173f7c 173f7c then you click on ok button and you go back to your adjustment layer again then you click on a cup to create a cup adjustment layer then you drag this down a little bit just make it a little bit darker like this just like so but i already did that let's just delete this so let's just enable it yeah so you should be able to get something like this then i place embedded um, the image for my background pictures and go down yeah yeah and i just said this just a fit to the top side of the page and click on the check mark check mark icon then i think i the blend mode to the soft light or overlay and check the other project yeah soft light soft light but then before that let's clean up the sharp edges here so you give it a layer max you come right, right down here make sure this image here is selected then you click on this layer max icon then uh, a thumbnail will pop up like this on the image layer then you select your brush to come right there you select your brush or you click on B on your keyboard and you make sure you your foreground is set to black then you increase your brush size if I click and check your brush size you can put down 400 pixel and make sure your hardness is set to zero just like so then you brush over the edge edges like so just to make it blend into the background just just like that and then that is it then you set your blend mode to soft light then you drop down the opacity to 50 percent about 50 percent that is it yeah. and then that is all for our background then with your horizontal type to right here click on it and then you type in the text thanksgiving thanksgiving right here and then this thanksgiving you come right there to your character panel increase your what is right here just like so and you reduce the VA so zero. then choose the font of um, papers papers Yes, the regular one. You can decrease your tracking or your leading a little bit. Just like so. And click on the escape key just to exit that. Move out of the text. The v, select your V and you on your, your move to. Okay. Centralize this a little bit. Just like so. Then your control T. 
and order your old ski, just scale it up proportionally like so just like that and you right click and select your skew and you skew this up just like that and click on enter key yeah there you have it like so so you have your title there so let me just drag in the name of the church and the logo and everything just to make everything faster from the other project here Scale it up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Then you come down to this Thanksgiving text. You hold on your alt key. You your your cursor will change to this, and then you click on the Thanksgiving text and drag it out just to make a duplicate of it. Then you double click on it. Double click on it. So you control A just to select on the text and then type in the text service. Just in like so. And then escape key to exit that. Then V move to your move to and bring him bring this down a little bit, just like so. And then you change the font, come down to your character panel, you change the font to autograph. Autograph. Yeah. Just like so. And with your control C, you can scale this, you can scale it down a little bit. Just like so. You push it and you, know, you can bring it down a little bit. So, like that. And then you double click on this. Oh yeah, let's just give the color before that. Just double click on this. Just alight it and click on this panda. Just click on this, turn this color to you know, the color just like this. If this is too bright, you know, something like this is okay. I think. Click on OK button. You know, escape key to exit that out of the text. And you double click on this left hand side or the right hand side of the layer. To open the layer star. Then you go down to the drop shadow. Then you give it. Um, just play around with the settings here. Change the angle a little bit. Maybe close this one a little bit. This one's okay. Maybe this is okay. Maybe close this one. Yeah. These are the settings I used. Keep the blending mode at the um, multiply. If the opacity around 46 to 50 percent, make sure your use global light is checked, and you give the an angle of 52 degree. Give an uh, a distance of 39 pixel, a spread of 21 percent, and um, a size of um, 24 pixel. Click on OK button. I think the shadow is kind of too big. You can just play around with the shadow and see what works best for you. Yeah. And that is it. With the same move again, 
you down the shift and the alt key you click and drag out this the text service then you double click on it and then paste in text pressure Let me change the font Check the font I use in the other projects. Okay, I use Akira. Let's change the font to Akira. Few color to white. Okay. Let's down here. Control T. Let's keep this down. Like so. And align it left. Yes. You can remove the shadow effects. Yeah, the just like so. Then, file and this embedded. Let's get down a little bit. Just you can adjust the service text and for the PNG image you can go to file a uh, filter and then you can now filter just to enhance the image a little bit. Thanks. 
Just like so. Yeah. Just kick it up a little bit. Yeah. You can also give the camera a filter also. Filter. You can have a filter. Yeah, I feel like this text is not well aligned and increases size into it. and click on this icon here and control D to deselect let's get this open to the person and control D to decentralize decentralize is also control D to deselect and bring it down a little bit just like this. Just like this. Just like this. Just like this. Just like you can go to file, place embedded, and I place embedded. Change the blend mode to screen. Then I give it a layer max, just like so. Then pick your brush to make sure your foreground is set to black. Then brush over the sharp edges, just like so. Switch back to your move tool and then just place this. Somewhere around here. You can drop down your past if you only keep two percent or this is seventy percent. Draw a rectangle over the canvas. Just like so. And give it a feel of white. And you disable the stroke. And yeah. Switch back to your move to and replace this properly. Just like so. And then let's create the um the time tag. That also I created a rectangle. 
Is the main thing. Get this out of your world, I think. Yes. You can drag the creature with diamond just like this. And switch back to your own too. And control T to transform. You right click. You click on the warp option. Then you drag this. A little bit hard work. Okay. And this. Outward a little bit. You drag this in a little bit. Just like so. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Something like that. Then after creating the shape, you duplicate it by clicking on Ctrl G on your keyboard. Then you double click on this right hand side of the layer to open up the layer style. Then you bring down the fuel to 0%. You have to read the stroke. You give the color of um, the background. Click like on OK. You can create the stroke size about 2. About 2. About 3. Just like so. You click on OK. Then you click on Ctrl T. Then you scale this down a little bit. Hold on your shift key while I'm scaling it down. Just like so. So, you bring it down a little bit. Ctrl T. And you drag this port. Just like so. to get that kind of effect just to save time let's just drag in the um, time and uh, everything just let's drag it in, into the new project That is it. You can change the font to Montserrat. Let's also drag in the other text. Like 
And there you have it guys, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like and comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one.